Hey guys, and welcome to Rasasi. Uh, I'm Jamal. I'm Daniel. And this is Rasasi, where we talk about all things food, takeaways, restaurants, uh, mostly in London. And today we have a good one for you. It could possibly be the best burger in the UK. That's what they claim, at least. How many times have we walked past this one place with their big thing that says the best burger in the UK. I think since we started uni, so the last three years, mm -hmm. just uh, across, almost across the road, it's a big statement. Yeah. And I remember the day we realized, because everyone always say uh, best burger in London, Soho, whatever. Yeah. But these were like best in the UK. Mm -hmm. So we did a little research. We found out that the reason it calls itself the best in the UK, they do have a reason, is because they were rated the number one rated burger place in all of the UK on TripAdvisor. Yeah. But that was back in 2015 and they're still claiming this. Plus it was a different location. They recently relocated um, and the TripAdvisor's, uh, their rating's gone a little bit down, actually in half, it's now 2.5. So we don't know, maybe it's really bad now, maybe it's really great, but we're gonna see if the best rated burger on TripAdvisor is actually the greatest. So this place is called Rocks Burger. Um, they do have a few locations, but this is their location that was relocated from Lewisham, which was uh, the one that was rated the highest. Mm -hmm. So should we grab our phones out and let's have a look through the menu. We have no idea what we're ordering yet. This is the first proper time looking through the exact menu. Uh, I haven't eaten all day again. I think for all these videos, I just stopped eating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, so I'm gonna order a little bit more than just a burger, I think. Let's start with the basic, yeah? All right. We've got to have a classic double cheeseburger. Classic double cheeseburger? Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, that's the standard that you, you start up on a cheeseburger. Yeah, that's right. But I feel like a single cheeseburger between us isn't going to be enough. 4 15 for a sweet potato fry. Oh, I know. The, the price is here. We're looking They're at- They're claiming the price too. <laughs> we're looking at £13.20 for a double cheeseburger. Just plain double cheeseburger. That's, it's expensive, but maybe, maybe it's worth that money. They've got one called On The Rocks, well, which is like kind of their true. signature burger. I feel yeah. like we have to go for that one a little bit. Um, chorizo, chicken, wow. Yeah. Uh, but we gotta try. Yeah, we, we gotta, gotta try. Now, I heard a lot on their TripAdvisor, mm -hmm. one of the big things that was bringing things up mm -hmm. was their uh, homemade strawberry lemonade. So we need We're to- We're having a long, le long, 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 <laughs> lemonade? Yeah, straw homemade okay. strawberry lemonade. Okay. It's one of the big things that a lot of the people on TripAdvisor back in 2015 were giving it such a high review. One gets the lemonade, one gets the milkshake, they won't yeah. mess up their stomach. <laughs> See, I definitely want to try both though. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can do that. Do you want chicken wings and stuff? No, I'm okay with that. No, good. Okay, let's keep, let's keep it burger friendly. You know, we're all about the burgers. <laughs> it's going to be a burger channel, this thing. <laughs> this is, we're basically just going to be burgers. Okay, that's that's the order. Like, okay, let's have a look. So we have a blue chicken uh, chicken halal ground chicken halal burger. We have a double cheeseburger, the homemade strawberry lemonade, on the rocks uh, um, beef burger, mm -hmm. uh, rocks fries, and rocks sweet fries. So that's a nice big mix of all of their different things. What does our total come out to, Daniel? Total. Well, there is a service fee. I think all this time, I thought I was on Deliveroo. I've just realized I'm on Uber Eats. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. For five, but four pounds, five pounds, okay, maybe you go redo that. I'll do that. Okay. Sorry. No problem, we'll go do this off screen. We'll let you know if there's any issues. See you later. Eleventh <laughs> floor, come in. What kind of voice was that? I don't fucking know. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it smells cold. Hi, everybody. Hello. <laughs> Hello. So, welcome back, guys. Um, food has arrived. In time, no long wait, no troubles even getting here. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of troubles uh, with delivery people finding the place, apparently. So, uh, luckily, no issues there. Uh, now we filled up the room with a lot, strong smell of blue cheese. Yeah, it's a so. very strong smell. I was saying before when it yeah. arrived, I was like, oh, it's it smells cold. I don't know if you can smell temperature. <laughs> I feel like I can, but um, it's just a strong smell of cheese. Yeah, I mean, it makes me excited actually. 
Uh, just to show, we have our cutting boards. I'm not going to put mine up because I have a knife. Uh, it's going to be our plate and the place where we're going to cut our stuff. Dig in. Yeah, let's yeah. separate these out. I'll bring some of the burgers this side. We are. Let's start with the fries first, just because okay. they go bad the quickest. You know. Yeah. You have right. McDonald's fries that's been delivered. It's never good. Actually, I'm, are you the kind of guy? Who we'll always take a fry before you start eating your main? So yeah, of course. Eat the fries, they finish the fries, and then they eat the burger. Uh, yeah, I, I admit I've done that a few times. Really? Yeah, never. Okay. Yeah. Rocks fries, and this one is rocks sweet, sweet potatoes. potatoes. So right. we have the rocks sweet potatoes and the rocks fries. Oh, I like it. They are melted, the cheese. So it's not prop like 100% melted, but it's defined at least. So give it a try. Should we dig in? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'll go for the sweet potato fry first. Do you want to grab one as well? Yeah. Are you good? You tell me. It's a very interesting taste with the parmesan and the sweet potato. I've never tried that either. So. It's a really interesting taste. Okay. So how, how's the texture of the fry? The sweet potato fry? It's good, but as sweet potato fries go, you know, they're always a little bit soft. It's also, it's a little cold. And I admit, usually in a time like this, with all the setup, it ends up being cold. It's only about a couple of minutes since it like since it got delivered. Yeah. And it's already quite cold. Could you hear this? It was crunchy. Yeah, it's yeah. Nice. Okay, let me get some parmesan. So the interesting thing about it is the parmesan with mm -hmm. uh, I've completely lost all that cheese there. One sec. So the parmesan with the thing, it adds a lot more of a nutty taste. I like nutty. Mmm. The sweet and then the salty of the, the parmesan. It it tastes to me a little bit like a cashew. Mm-hmm. Like, it's got that cashew taste. All in all, I like it. I'm happy with this. I'm this very is, happy with this. I'm, I'm going to keep going back. Well, we need to try this too. Yeah. Okay. Sweet potatoes, what would you give it out of five so far? Four. Four? Because it's not warm. I like it. 100%. Yeah, okay. I'll give it 3.5. I just, I was, I checked. Oh, it's fine. You've already jumped in. No, no, go ahead for it. Now this one, the mm. cheese isn't as melted as such. Yeah, like, then that's, that's the thing. The cheese doesn't stick to it. You got to... Grab the cheese yourself. Mm hmm Yes. Mm. Okay. Good consistency of delivery of fries. It's good, but it lets it down because the cheese isn't melted. And I yeah. know Parmesan's hard to melt. Yeah, look. But they've not even tried here. If I do this. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't do that. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Sorry. No, no, it's good. I like it. I'm, de I'm definitely going to pick the sweet potato. Yeah. Over the, the plain fries. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to give them a 2.5. Whoa. Because uh, okay. they're both very good. It, like The two things taste good. Yeah. But it doesn't taste so good together on that side as Fair it does enough. here. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm not. That one I gave four because it's not warm. Mm -hmm. This one I'll give three because it's not melted and it's not warm. Yeah. Okay. But we should probably start on yeah. the burgers. Well, you were just having a go at me about how, eating I'm hungry, eating fries. I'm I haven't eaten all the... How dare you eat fries before the meal? That's <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all we're doing. Okay. Okay. Should we start with the classic, yeah. which is the double cheeseburger? Yeah. Now, I haven't opened, we haven't opened this yet. Uh, so let's have a first look. Oh, yes, in okay. it. Okay. Box on the box. It's a... <laughs> I mean, not a box. Hello. Oh, hello. Wow. Well, hello. That is a meaty burger from the look of it. You see that? Wow. Okay. Wow. Oh, it smells good. I was going to say, it looks from this angle, it does look a bit dry. I've got to say that. Yeah, sure it will be. The bun is uh, soft though. When you hold it, you can feel that. Yeah, 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 it's very soft. Yeah, nice. It's a reminds me a bit of Bang Bang. Uh oh. Yeah. We said it again. Yeah, we, we said, said it again. again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, the knife isn't the sharpest, so the, if you, people judge me the way I cut it, well, please don't. <laughs> Let's see that cross section there. I see the smoke. You can't see that on video, but there was and steam, lovely steam. Oh, it looks a good cross section. That is good. Well done. But again, well, I'm worried it's going to be dry from what I'm seeing. All right. But I'm, I'm it's excited. Good to, it's good to put expectations low. <laughs> Just give I'm it. Excited. I swear. It I smells see. really meat. Yeah. Like it smells good. Okay. Is it the best burger in the UK though? Let's see. I always feel like I close my eyes. 
It's like you're making love with a bur- with a burger. <laughs> For sure. Hmm. That's a good burger. That's a fucking good burger. <laughs> I am very surprised. I was expecting, based on the the recent um, ratings and stuff of everyone bringing it down. Well, I said to this, I said this to you earlier. Is that I feel like people have rated it even lower because of their high expectations from their last location. Yeah. But this is still really good. It's got very umami flavor, like very meaty. But it's all the cheese on that is There's amazing. Something. Yeah, I don't know what that is. It looks like some kind of sauce. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I'm not sure, but it's that. It's just so simple. There's no cooking, no salad, no nothing. It's just, as you were saying, mm-hmm. the cheese, the sauce, and the bread. Is it medium red? Uh, medium. Yeah, this is medium. Yeah. yeah. It's a medium uh, burger. So it, if anything, though, it, it's not that red in the middle. I'm, I'm very happy with this. Why have we left this until we're about to move out of our Because we were expecting to roast it. We yeah. were expecting to be like, this is shit. This tells you one thing so far. Don't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> I'm finishing mine. Mm-hmm. Oh my. This is honestly really good. I'm not doing this for camera. This no. It's really good. <laughs> really good. <laughs> I, I want to know what this sauce is. I feel like it's garlic butter. Mmm. It's garlic butter, right? It must be garlic butter. Wait a sec. So this is the sauce that's there, and it's, I think they've put garlic butter inside their burger. Homemade garlic butter. Yeah? yeah. It's garlic butter. It works I've so never, well. I've never heard of anyone do that. No, I've never heard of any place putting garlic butter inside a, uh, inside a, just a generic double cheeseburger. I'm a bread lover. Mm-hmm. The bread is good too. Oh yeah, it's very, it's very thin. Yeah. Yeah, there's not much of it, so it, it, it's just, it's there, mm-hmm. holds it together, yeah. tastes good but it doesn't overpower like that one we had on our chicken battle mm-hmm. uh, from Bird Box. That's that right, was, yeah, yeah. That was a, that, it was a very similar bread to this, but it was too much. Mm-hmm. And this one is just right. If people come to Greenwich one day, they are next to, I don't know if it's the same building, mm-hmm. but the comedy uh, yeah. thing, comedy yeah, factory. Yeah, it, it is the same building, so it's, it's the comedy show. So you can go get a really nice burger, mm-hmm. go to the bar next door for a drink, and then head into the a comedy show and watch, you know, people like Nish Kumar, Russell Howard, mm-hmm. uh, and also some local London comics. Uh, just have a good night. This, this is really good. Fun. I am very happy with this. I'm finishing it. Mm-hmm. I've had. What, what have you had today? Just a bowl of cereal. I've had three dates. Oh, <laughs> you know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. dates with walnuts <laughs> and water. Really? Is that yeah, it? That's honestly, what I've had today. This is the problem. Whenever we have a shoot coming up like this. Uh, <laughs> we just starve ourselves <laughs> to have as much space possible. We look, we look so. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what do you? What do you call that? Malnourished. I was gonna say I don't look malnourished. I got this cheek. <laughs> <laughs> I got all this. This is definitely not malnourished. <laughs> now we've had some starch. We've had some meat. Why don't we wash it down with a lovely uh, homemade strawberry lemonade? Right. So Daniel is very nice here. He has the. Um, I've gone for the vegan community out there. This is a, a vegan friendly, envi- environmental friendly, etc., etc. The list is long. Uh, straw, and then I have a metal straw, which I always get. And then I've just used the one they provided, which is pa- paper. Paper. So yeah, it's still yeah, environmentally friendly, but it's not reusable. Okay. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. This is definitely homemade. Yeah, you can taste. Yeah, it's, it's very lemony. I like I, this. I like it. I like it a lot. This feels fresh. I had uh, just to compare. I had a lemonade from GBK uh, last week, mm-hmm. and it was awful. Mm-hmm. I threw. I, I poured it out half of it. This is real. This is. Yeah. You can see. I don't know what you call this. Uh, the oh, like the froth. The, yeah. That yeah. that means that it did literally. Yeah. The, 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 you can see the pressed <laughs> it and stuff. I'll tell you what. This is strong. This, we're not just saying this for camera. <laughs> like, I obviously I'm from Morocco, mm-hmm. uh, my family. Mm-hmm. And when you're in Morocco, one of the best things you have when you go to the Medinas is fresh pressed juices. Couldn't only uh, imagine stuff and like stuff like this, like you know, fresh strawberry lemonades, mm-hmm. mango lemonades, and stuff like that. And then they press it right in front of you, and it tastes a lot like yeah. this. That's how fresh it is. That's um, a good confidence. And we're not just saying this for camera. Like we've never been to this place. We've seen yeah. it a lot. I was hoping, we were hoping for the content <laughs> yeah. that this would be this is off. terrible. <laughs> but so far, apart from the fries, which are still good, but they're not like amazing level, mm. everything so far has been really good. It's been dope. It was okay. dope. Should we go to the next one? You've got the beef one over there. Okay. This is their 
their burger on the rocks. On the rocks. So. Voilà. Voilà. Et voilà. Oh wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. We see the, and here we can see that they have used the garlic butter again. Yeah, we've got that lovely garlic butter there. Just show a little bit like this. Oh wow. I'm excited now. Now that I've seen that garlic butter. It smells good. You have the onion in it. I uh, see jalapenos, but I'm not afraid of it. Do like the salt bag. <laughs> the salt bag, <laughs> yeah. Let's get a nice clean cup. Now I know that you've had it, and so you now, well, you've had the first one. Yeah. And you really liked it. Mm -hmm. Still make sure to keep it even. I still want half of that. <laughs> but, oh, wow. Why were we? Oh, wow. You've got like a, a little bit of extra sauce in that middle. I like it. This looks really interesting. Okay. And I'm wondering how that's going to taste with the garlic butter on the bottom as well. Yeah. And the bun seems to be the same. Yes, the bun seems to be the same, although a little thicker. Yeah. Should we just go for it? Uh, yeah, so. you know, right. Let's get a little dinky dink. <laughs> no, it's a dink. <laughs> you know, dink. a little dinky ah, dink. Got it. The jalapeno is literally there. I'm about to beat it. I'll mm -hmm. do it. It's not too spicy. It's a lot more gritty, this one. Yeah, it is. What is that? Is it? Is this the one with chorizo in it? Yeah, that's what it is. Ah, I was it's just like so fi finely chopped. Yeah, it's really finely chopped chorizo. I was trying to decide what that was. Mm. Yeah, the jalapeno is good. It's no problem. Now, I've never had like chorizo with beef. No, it's only I've always had it with chicken. Mm -hmm. They match really well, like really well, especially when chopped up this finely. Yeah, I like it. It's not too dominant, which chorizo usually is. <clears throat> okay, the jalapenos kicking in. I'm weak to them. Ring of fire. Mm -hmm. You know what's really good with a nice spicy food like this? I love new hand based strawberry lemonade. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, I prefer right. the first burger, I will admit. Yeah, yeah. It's take look, because okay. that first burger is so simple. Mm -hmm. It's just a nice cheeseburger with some colored sauce. Mm -hmm. But this is, um, it's still really good. But it's, it's, it's like they've added things in that don't need to be added in. Yeah, I know. It's still amazing. It tastes great. But that, like, but they don't need to be there to taste great. And that's what you see a lot of burger places now. They they forcefully just put everything on their burger to make mm -hmm. it like stand out. But if you can just make a good, normal, classic cheeseburger, that's it. You don't need more. Sorry, guys, the camera cut out. Uh, we were just finishing eating the uh, On The Rocks burger. Yeah, I, I, from a scale to one to five, <clears throat> Because I think before the camera, yeah, we were doing that. First one, five. Yeah, a hundred percent. Five out of five. Ten out of ten if I could give it. Mm -hmm. The second one uh, for me was a four because of I think it was just taste. Yeah. It, it, it wasn't the same consistency, but it tasted great. Yeah, it exactly. Really it's a good consistent. burger. Yeah, and I'd happily get it if if the other one's not available. Mm. But when both of them are available, I'm going to go for that first double yeah. cheeseburger. Okay. We do, sorry, we keep going back for these fries. I'm addicted. Okay, let's go for the creme de la creme, the final, the last burger, which is the chicken version. Mm -hmm. We've got a lovely blue cheese chicken burger here. Let's see what it looks like. I'm mm. very interested. We don't even know if it's fried or not. Like, oh, oh yeah, that's a good, good point. Uh, Whoa, this thing is, oh, wow. this is a grilled one, I think. Yeah, it definitely looks grilled. But I was actually kind of hoping for a grilled burger. Whoa. Oh wow, okay, they have. It looks a little bit more like a, a sandwich from prep. <laughs> it looks like a shawarma. Yeah, a shawarma. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy to go for this. Let's, let's try it out. See what it's like. There you go. Um, so what is it we've got in here? It's just chicken, grilled ground chicken. Um, we've got some lettuce, some mayo, bun. We did take a gamble of, in my opinion, to have blue cheese and chicken. Yeah. But uh, I'm the only one to blame for that. Yeah. <laughs> I was the one that's <laughs> voted for that, so. But we'll see. We'll it see. might be really good. Right. Let's go. A little dinky dink. Dinky dinky dink. That blue cheese is dominant. Yeah, no, it took a while for me to taste it. Mm -hmm. I need another bite. Same. It's good. Yeah. For me, yeah, as you were saying, it's a chicken sandwich. Yeah. Like, it's good. I would happily buy this at like a local deli or something for a couple of quid. No, four quid or something. £12.50? Nah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that. Definitely don't know about that. But it's like, it's 
it's a good sandwich. <laughs> I think I'm so used to having like fried yeah. chicken in a burger. Or if it's not, if it's grilled chicken, it should be like a full like breast. Mm. This is a very, very thin piece of chicken. Mm -hmm. Like it's very thin. But it's still a good burger. Yeah. I don't have much to say, honestly. I'm not being quiet for no reason. No, no, no. I, it's just, that's it, that's, it's good. It's all right. For me, it's just box standard. But it's good, not great. That's it, it's, it's very basic. And that's why it responds to a basic answer. I'm gonna go back to these chips instead. What would you give it out of five? Two to three. Yeah, I was gonna say two and a half. Mm. <laughs> right, bang in the middle. Like it, it's all right. I would like to order the first one again. Oh, 100%. I was about to say which one was your favourite, but... I'm oh, sorry, yeah, well that was my answer. It's obviously the first <laughs> one, right? So, that first one was so good. Yeah. And we're not just saying that for the camera. I can accept that people call that the best burger in the UK. In the UK? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not angry at that. Yeah. After, that, after eating it. I get that. Yeah. That's that doesn't make me angry. It do, I'm not like, no, no, it can't be. I can accept that. Yeah. And I will be ordering again. I think for chicken burger, that what's what we always compare it with bang bang. bang bang yeah and i think now we've found our burger burger yeah. to compare with yeah so far out of all the deliveries we've had in this apartment that is my favorite beef burger yeah even beef shake shack yeah oh 100 yeah. for me and this was wonderful this oh this is really nice it's very refreshing after that that meat yeah it's a great combo mm. i agree all right well i guess we're gonna yeah finish so, overall is it the best burger in the united kingdom we don't know yet. So far, compared to what we've, um, I think you said already, but the burgers that we've had in this flat, mm -hmm. it has been the best uh, normal burger. Yeah. Not the chicken, the normal burger. Beef burger, yeah. Beef burger. It's the best beef burger I've tried in a long while. I'm not sure if it's the best burger in the UK, but stay tuned and you'll find out because we'll go and, we'll go and test, test it against some other ones across the rest of the country. So, drop a subscribe down below. Put a comment down below uh, and give it a like because it really helps it with the algorithm and stuff. It's going to help uh, us eat more. So exactly. Better. If you want to see us eat more, subscribe, like, comment, um, and hopefully we can grow this channel a bit more um, and we can try out some of the other best burgers in the UK as well. I'm excited. See you later. Have a lovely rest of your day um, and stay hungry. <laughs> no, <I'm joking>. <laughs> <laughs> stay hungry. We haven't got an outro yet. <laughs> Never stay hungry is what I meant to say. <laughs> stay hungry. Give us all the food. It's ours. It's mine. <laughs>